Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, what I'm going to do real quick, as I always do, I'm just running over to the post office man, I've got tons of items to ship off, lots of people have been buying jackets, I've been meeting up with so many people in person wanting to buy jackets and stuff, so that's all good man, selling tons and tons of pieces. But what I'm going to do real quick, before I get to the post office, I wanted to share this jacket with you. It's a really, really popular jacket from Montclair, and so many people like this one, man. And I've had quite a few of these in as well. Guys, the jacket I want to share with you today is this one. The Montclair Hubert, guys. Super cool jacket, this one. Retails for 1070 And not only have I got this one, guys, not only have I got this one, but blah, I've got a double whammy here, guys. Two Montclair Huberts. Crazy. This one is actually my personal favourite one. I actually bought this one from Montclair. Paid 1,070 for this one. It's absolutely crazy like that. And this one I managed to source, guys, okay? I had one in black as well, but I sold that one last year. I actually bought that one brand new, but I just sold it straight away because it was too small, okay? These ones are in now, guys. I'm gonna do a very quick review for you, man. In fact, let me try it on real quick. Bam. You've seen this in another video that I did before, I think it was a Stone Island video where I had this one. Yeah, really like this piece guys. One of my favourite jackets this one. The only thing about this now, this is a size 2. It's getting a bit small for me man, that's the only thing. It's looking like I need a size 3, but I'm going to try and ride this one out for as long as I can. But eventually I will have to sell this one man. But really love the colour on this one because this colourway is quite limited usually when you do see this jacket it's always in a black but I managed to get it in a silver okay really cool the jacket is really lightweight as well and it's got a lot of um, down insulation in it anyway let's waffle let me put this on the bed let me prep myself up two seconds guys yo what's popping guys welcome back Okay man, so I've got this jacket on the bed, as you can see, really really cool piece this one man, just sold it to a chap, so I've got to run down the old post office, dispatch it to him, I always send my jacket to next day special delivery, so he should be jumping up and down for joy tomorrow as soon as he gets that in the post, okay, all good. And guys, if you're not subscribing yet man, why aren't you subscribing, do I need to send Mr Baseball back around to come and have a quiet word with you guys, and maybe uh, make you an offer you can't refuse? Guys, you know the cue now, man. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of cool stuff happening. And for all my regulars, thanks so much, man. I know you guys, sometimes the video comes out and before you've even watched five seconds of the video, you've already liked it, man. So serious. Big shout for all the support, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Nice one. Anyway, let's move on to the review. Bam. Here we go. First thing I'm going to show you guys, as I always do, if you want to know what jacket you've got, all you need to do is have a look inside, and here we go guys, okay, you can clearly see that it says Montclair Hooper, this one is like, um, is it last year, I think it's last year's jacket now, it's either one or two seasons old, but anyway, it's 2014 jacket, so you can clearly see what the QR code there, so that's all good, and of course, as I said, Montclair Hooper, if you look at this one, it's got the Lampo zips, we look inside the uh, jacket there, we can always see that it says Lampo as per usual. You lot should be some super experts by now, man, the amount of times I've done this. As you can see, we've got the good old badge there, ever so slightly faded. Guys, remember, this should not be too bright, okay? And we shouldn't be seeing any cut lines, we shouldn't be seeing any black lines. And this Montclair sign should not be too thick, it should not be too black, okay? That's that. If we look down here, we can see that Montclair put some really nice detailing going all the way up around there they put a nice kind of strip pattern there which is really cool and if you look at the reverse of the popper studs we can always see that they are engraved with Montclair okay blow all good now this jacket actually does have a removable um, hood so you can take that off if you want to don't really know why you'd want to do that because it looks much better with, with the hood I think but for those of you who are not really feeling the hood you can take that off and you can wear it without okay um the the fur on the hood is made from real coyote man and it, 
I'll be honest with you, it feels really, really nice, really, really cool. But my old friend Marcus on the old YouTube, I know he's not going to be feeling that, man, because he says that a lot of the way when they catch these animals to um, get them for their fur can be really gruesome sometimes, man, so he's not feeling that. So I, I totally understand what he's saying on that front, man. On this one here, we've got a really nice thick rib collar there, as you can see. Really nice detailing on this one. This one's actually a size 2, guys, okay? Um, size 2 is coming up at something like a 38 to 40 inch chest, so it's, it's regarded as a small, um, or a small medium even. So that's that. What I really like about this jacket as well is if you look on the back, it's got this really cool kind of square um, quilt pattern that you can see right there, man. Really, really nice, this one. Really cool indeed. Got some really nice elastic there for the cuffs, so the jacket's keeping you nice and warm and making sure that the heat is being kept in. Got a ski pass pocket there, guys, as, as always. And if you look on the reverse of that, as I always show you, these should always be engraved with something, man. And we can see there that it's clearly engraved with Montclair. And if you have a look at the badge, blam! Should be very, very um, soft. Um, it should have a light cotton brush feel to it. Shouldn't be too hard, and the stitching should just be nice and clear like that, okay? And if you look at the stitching around on the outside, you can see at some parts it goes off very so slightly, like you can see there it goes off slightly. It's meant to do that, guys. It's meant to go off a little bit. In fact, if you see that this stitching is way too thick or too perfect, double check everything, man. Could be a fake, okay? All good. So that's it guys man, didn't want to spend too long on this one, just wanted to show you guys real quick, a lot of you have been asking about this one because you've seen me wear it on another video, very very popular jacket and very rare guys, this is not an easy jacket to um, get a hold of, so the guy that bought it is a very lucky chap, okay, so that's that, let me put the jacket on one more time guys so I can show you what he's saying, woo, two seconds. Okay guys, here it is man, I've got the jacket on now in all its full glory. This one is, um, again, this one's my own personal one, this one's kind of like a metallic grey. The one that I sold, it's weird man, sometimes it looks brown, sometimes it looks olive. I had it in the light earlier when it was even looking green, so it's got some type of material that changes colour a little bit. But that's all good anyway man, so that's that, really feeling this piece. Just try to get in so you can see a bit more detail on it. Really, really nice on this one, really cool jacket. Get lots of compliments when I wear this one, man. Very expensive piece as well, 1,070. I didn't think it should have been that much, but that's Montclair for you. As you know, Montclair's a little bit crazy like that. Okay, so that's that, guys. But what I'm really excited about, what I'm really excited about showing you guys is I've got that Stone Island fake beanie, man. This is the fake one. There's tons of these on eBay. Tons and tons and tons. Gumtree, eBay, I've seen these everywhere, guys, okay? And, a lot of you that have been asking, ah, oh, can you get one of these in so you can see the quality? And I've got one in, guys. I've got one in. I'm going to be doing a fake versus real on this. I'm going to get Mr. Baseball bat on the case. He's going to beat the hell out of this um, this beanie hat right here, okay? So stay tuned for that one, guys. Stay tuned. Okay? So that's it for now, man. I've even got some fake versus real um, Stone Island polos. I've got those in now, so I'm going to be doing that. I've got another st um, Stone Island um, jacket. I'm going to be re reviewing that one on a fake versus real. So a lot is going on over here, guys. Tons of stuff going, and I've, I've got tons of stuff as, as well for Christmas. There's a lot of shopping. So when all of that comes in, I'm going to be doing some reviews right here, okay? I'm going to be getting down to the Nike Lab store. I've got, I've got to run down to the old Nike store in a minute, go and collect some stuff. I'm going to try and do a video on that. So it's going to be all good, okay? So that's that, man. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to bounce. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like, guys, okay? All good. Catch you up in a bit. Peace out. Lots more reviews coming, lots more cool stuff coming. Stay They should look like that.